Today we are going to be uh, candling a robin's egg that my amazing cousin Nick actually rescued from outside. He had found it in his lawn. Um, so we're going to see if it's actually still alive or not. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to do that. And we'll show you the egg right here. And yeah. So this right here is the egg. Um... As you can see, it's a kind of a small blue egg, a little bit bigger than the uh, parakeet eggs. So in emergencies, what we, we've done, uh, as you know in some of the previous videos, we actually have a lot of reptiles and things, and I do have a incubator for chicken eggs. But what we've done here is we haven't had, or we candled it uh, as soon as we got it, and uh, the, my cousin has candled it as well, and we've seen uh, what looks like a yolk in there, but we haven't seen any veins or anything yet, so we got it a couple of days ago, and we've been taking care of it, and like I said, we have incubators for chickens, but those take a few days to kind of stabilize the temperature, so a um, pro tip, if you ever find a egg like this, and you need, you know, you want to get it warm as, you know, not really as quickly as you can, you want to kind of gradually bring it up to temperature, but a great way to do that is actually using uh, reptile thermometers and reptile heat pads that or reptile thermostats, not thermometers, I should say. Because, as you know, we've got a lot of snakes and things if you watch the channel. But anyways, so we did that. We actually put the egg in there, programmed our thermostat, one that wasn't hooked up to any snakes at the moment, to the exact temperature that robin eggs need, which is right around 100 degrees. So anyways, enough of me jabber jabbering. Let's candle the egg, see if there's anything in there. Now, even if there isn't anything in here, we're going to uh, continue to incubate it for a little bit just to see if anything shows up eventually. So right there is the yolk that I said we saw before. Um, let's see. So it looks like there's... Well, actually, I, don't, I can't really tell. There's definitely an air bubble there, which I don't know if that's kind of holding in position. I don't know if that's really a great sign. See, the, there's some lines here, but I think those are just, if you can hear me over these parakeets, holy cow. But I think those are, the lines anyways, I think those are just uh, like lines in the eggshell. Because with other eggs, lines like that, you'll see them kind of red kind of colored. Now, the center of the yolk does look a little bit darker, which could be a good thing. But the rest of the egg here is kind of clear with no veins or anything. So I guess it's still a little early to tell. Well, the yolk is still floating up. That's actually a good sign that the yolk is kind of moving around a little bit. Um, this is moving around quite a bit, though. So moving around a little bit is good. So it's really early to tell. Um, we'll, keep, we'll keep you guys updated with more candling videos we'll make sure that uh, we continue to candle this egg and see what happens with it if it's alive we are going to do the best we can if it's not we're still going to do the best we can until we find out if it truly is if it truly is actually um going to survive or not but we'll keep you guys updated and so that's today's video